Good morning, and thank you for joining me for Saturday morning strength class. My name is Sam, and I will be your instructor today. Um, as we get ready to get started, please make sure that you have a space that is clear of all obstacles. And specifically for today's class, we are going to use either a bench or a chair that does not have rolly feet. Um, we are going to be sitting in the chair. So if you have a wall against uh, that you could put the chair against, that'd be great. But if not, we're just gonna be careful in the movements and I will always show modifications. You also have the option of adding weights to any of the exercises that we do. I will show them without weights um, because I'm under the assumption that the majority of people do not have a full set of weights at home. As I give you a moment, please read the disclaimer. And if you would like to pause at this moment, uh, if you're watching this on the recorded version, please feel free to pause and read through the full thing. And I will give you guys about another 10 seconds and then we're gonna get started. All right, I'm gonna stop sharing this and we are going to get our music going. Hope you guys are ready. I did dance party today, I thought it would be fun. And I'm going to share my music. All right. Hopefully you can hear it. I usually don't end up hearing it, um, and that's just a fact. So I also have my penguin slippers on for the start of winter since it snowed here the other day. So I hope you are feeling as wintry as I am. All right, to start today, we're gonna place our feet hip width apart, find even balance between them. Take a deep inhale, reaching the arms up to the ceiling. From there, you're going to bring the arms out in front of you, slowly hinge forward. We're going to end up placing our hands on the ground. Good. You could bend your knees if needed. Walk the hands out to a full plank. Good. Hold briefly one second there. Feel the legs reaching long behind you, your head reaching in front of you. Relax the shoulder blades and walk the hands back in. Good. Slowly stand up so your head is the last thing to come up. Good. And from there, we're going to take another deep inhale, reaching the arms above head, hinging forward so we have a flat back here. Good. Placing the hands onto the ground, walking the hands out into a full plank. Again, feeling the head pull in one direction, the heels in the other. Relaxing our shoulder blades and walking the hands back in. Slowly rolling up. So again, the head is the last thing to come up. Good. All right, we're gonna widen our feet heading into a sumo squat. From there, we're gonna place our arms on our head today. We're gonna head into a sumo squat, as low as you can go. From there, hinge forward, placing the hands on the ground. Good, we're in that squat still. Extend the legs up so they are straight as can be and slowly roll back up. So we're doing the opposite order of our normal wider squat stand. Hands on the head. Head into this squat, bend forward, placing your hands on the ground. Extend the legs, slowly roll up. Woo, here we go. All right, going in the opposite order now, so the normal wider squat stand, arms up, bend over. Good, sit into your squat as low as you can. Pull up the arms and stand. We've got one more. Hinge forward, touch the ground. Good. Drop into that squat as low as you feel comfortable. Arms come up and stand. Good. We're going to work our shoulders a bit. So I have a few shoulder and hip warmers today. You're going to take a position kneeling on the floor. It's going to look funny because you're not going to see me in a second, but you're going to take your right shoulder, put it on the ground. Hips are going to be in the air. You want to be as low as you can and you can widen your hips if that feels better. From there, we're going to reach our left arm as high as possible. Head can relax on the floor. Good, we're gonna rotate open as much as possible. Feel that stretch, front of the shoulder. Good, we're gonna repeat that again. Drop the left arm back down. Come up if you need a little stretch. Feels good. Place that right arm down again. Open the left. Nice. We're almost done with our warm up. Place that left arm down. Get that shoulder blade down. Head is resting. Right arms up. 
Good. Your palm should be down on the left hand. Bring that arm down. Come out of it if needed. My shoulders are awakening right here. Same thing. Reach that elbow up. Extend the arm. Nice. Good. Go ahead and come out of that. And we have now a hip opener. And then we're done with our warm up. We're going to lay down. I'm going to face you guys. We're going to pretzel ourselves. So you're going to bend one knee. Sit up. Twisting. So that both knees are bent. This is what it looks like from afar. Good. From this position, I'm going to lean over to that back leg so I open up my obliques. Good. From there, head back to your center position and over to the other side. Nice. Same thing here. Lean over. We're going to do this one more time. Oh, I feel that in my hips. It feels so good. Keep going back. Bend that knee. Bend the other knee. Head over to your left or right, depending on which side you're on. Good, I hope you guys are ready again if you jumped on late. We do just need a chair, non-rolling, lean. And if you'd like to add on weights, that's always available to you. All right, guys, go ahead and work your way up to a standing position. Nice job getting through the warm-up. Our first exercise is going to be the slowest squat into a chair. If you're using a chair, you wanna make sure that you're about six inches away. Go ahead and sit down and your butt cheeks should just barely be on the chair. So we're not trying to sit all the way back. We're in the front end of the chair. Feet are hip width apart. If you're holding onto a weight, you're gonna goblet squat it. So you're gonna have one dumbbell here and the other dumbbell's gonna be hanging. And if you have no weights, you can place your hands on your chest, on your hips, or if you wanna step it up, on your head. Your goal is to keep contact with me the whole time. So keep that head up. And we have to start now. Good, so we're going up and then we're gonna slowly sit back as slow as we can, sit those hips back, and then we place ourselves down again. Nice, as we do this, we are thrusting the hips forward, taking our time, good. Nice, we wanna exhale on the way up. Inhale, let those toes wiggle a little bit. Keep going. You guys have 10 more seconds. And why is slow good? because it's hard. Anyone can just plop in a chair. I'm sure you guys have done that before, but taking the time, the core engagement to get up and down, that's not easy. And we've got three, two, and one. Beautiful. All right, you get a little warm in here. We're gonna head to the ground. We have a push up to a side plank and anything is possible. So any modification works for today. If you're not feeling a full push up, that's all right. I'm gonna stay on my knees the whole time and head into our push-up position. All right, so we're gonna go, hands about shoulder width apart. We want our thumbs really at our armpits. From here, our butt stays squeezed and tightly tucked in. We lower to the ground. As we exhale, we're gonna press up, allow the knees to fall or head into a full side plank. Drop the knees back down, head down again. Knees open up to the other side. Place that hand back down. We've got 40 seconds beginning now. Here we go, guys. You can move as fast or as slow as you'd like. Good. Exhale as you press up. Make sure that took us stays tight. Nice. Beautiful job, guys. Enjoy the side plank but feel your core working there right through those obliques. You've got 10 more seconds. Beautiful, three, finish one more, two, one, and beautiful. Our next movement, oh, by the way, we're gonna repeat this quite a few times. Our next movement is a high plank, so on your hands. If you do have any wrist issues, you can always use dumbbells, or you can do this from your forearms. It's just gonna be a little bit different. From our plank position, we're going to lift up one arm and opposite leg. Good. And on my cue, put it back down. The goal here is not to lift it multiple times or be very quick with it. The goal is to hold so that posterior chain of our back, shoulders, hips, 
and uh, hamstrings get some workout in here. So we want it to be slow, purposeful, and maybe we get four in, so don't rush. All right, we're gonna begin in three, two, one, and go for it. Lift, one arm opposite leg. Good, hold, and down. Slow, 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 opposite side. Modification is always dropping down to the knees. We do wanna make sure that hand is located underneath the shoulder and put that side down, back and forth here. Squeeze, make sure that belly button is to spine. And down, keep going. Nice job, guys. And down, and we're gonna pulse here. So while you're up here, squeeze up, back to starting. Up, back to starting, keep going. Good. And down, other side, we've got up, and back. We've got five pulses roughly. Take your time. Four and five. And we are done with that. So we're heading back to the top with our squats. From the side view, again, we're gonna stay about six inches away. As we sit back, we're gonna take our time so that our hips hinge back, but chest does not drop forward. When you're ready to sit, you sit with confidence and when we stand, we don't want to just stand. We want to slowly squeeze through the glutes, press those hips forward. If you need a sip of water, get one right now. I'm going to try and fix my earbud. And I don't think I lost you guys. All right, here we go. We've got 40 seconds on again. Choose your hand position and begin. Sit, sit, sit slow. Good. At the bottom, there's always that little plop and that's okay. We just wanna to work to decrease that plop every time. And as we get more tired, it's gonna be harder. Good. Nice job, exhale on the way, push those hips forward. Sit and back. Good work, guys. Exhale, you've got roughly 10 seconds. Nice. Squeeze. You guys are looking fabulous, I am sure. Good, and done. Heading back to that push-up with the side plank. If you want to modify, go for it. It's up to you. It's Saturday. We want to leave it all in the fitness center, in our gym, wherever we are right now. If you're outdoors, good for you. All right, we've got three, two, one, and go. You're going to notice that my feet are not on the ground. That just gives the hamstrings a little bit more work during that push-up. And I think it forces me to engage my core a little bit more because the balance is a little different. Beautiful. Inhale down, exhale up. And another modification to this, if needed, is always just heading into kind of a quad position and letting the chest fall so that butt does stay up in the air. And then you can head into a side plank. So many modifications here, guys. And we've got three, two, and one. Good. This time through for our uh, core section, we're going to do a half bicycle followed by a half star crunch. I'm mixing this up on purpose. So I wanna make sure we get through everything. So from the ground, both legs straight, arms by the head like you're about to do a bicycle, so hands on the head. From here, we bring our shoulder to our knee, bring everything back down, extend that right arm, try and touch the toe with a straight leg. Opposite side, bend and straight. Keep going back and forth, bend and straight. Our timer just started, so you get the full 40 seconds here. Straight, beautiful, bend and straight. You wanna step it up, don't touch the foot down in between. Keep that leg in the air, it'll engage longer and obviously that makes it more difficult. Good, exhale on the way up. Keep going, bend and straight. Lovely job. We've got three, two, and one. All right guys, we're gonna go through that one more time. So this is your opportunity again to leave it all on the floor, the gym floor, or your basement floor, whatever works. If you need a sip of water, go ahead and get one. 
If not, we're going to be starting in roughly 10 seconds. Beautiful. All right, we've got three, two, one, and begin. Choose that hand position, sit slow, exhale, slow up. Take it, good. And if you think this is easy, find something to hold. Good. You can hold two cans of something. You can hold a basket. Um, you can hold a garbage can and just put a few things in it. Make it as hard as you want. Good. We've got five, four, whew, three, two, one. My butt is on fire. I hope yours is too. The more you squeeze, the more you're going to get out of it. So I hope you're feeling it. All right, onto the ground for our push-up series. We've got three, two, one, and go. Beautiful. Again, challenge yourself. We want to leave here stronger, better, more dedicated to whatever journey we're on when, than when we got here. I know I need to remember to breathe, which is a little bit tricky when you're teaching. Nice. We have 10 seconds left, make it work. Choose what's good for you. And you are done. Nice job, guys. All right, our last core exercise. We're gonna go back to the planks. So let's make sure we got those half and half in. So, your choice, we're gonna go 40 seconds. And when you're ready, Begin, arm leg, hold and then put it down. Arm leg, and then down. Make sure you have good planks here. Nice. I'm definitely on a modified position myself. Good. And we're gonna begin our pulsing, here we go. And, Done. You guys, I got this. Five, four, three, two, one. One more time each side. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. And five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, guys. We made it through our first workout circuit. We're going to head into our second workout circuit. So get yourself a drink of water first. I'm sure you guys are killing it at home. Great job, great energy, and welcome to Saturday morning. All right. As you get ready to go into circuit two, you have some options here. If you have a chair that's against a wall, you have the option of doing reverse lunges on the chair. That is complicated, it's considered difficult, not even moderate. So make your choice on if you are going to do that or regular reverse lunges on the floor. I will demo those in a brief second. Our second exercise is also gonna be on um, the chair if you'd like to make it that more difficult version. It's going to be dips on the chair, so dips with our triceps being worked, or we have the option on the floor. So I'm going to show that one first um, so you guys can give it a shot. With this option, hands are going to be right behind the glutes or a few steps back, and we're going to keep our shoulders and chest nice and proud. When we bend our elbows, we're going to lean back and then exhale and press back up. The one thing we want to be careful for is as we go down, those shoulders don't round and we don't cave our stomach. We want to stay proud and keep the triceps as the ones doing the work. All right. So first option, lunges onto the step. Take one rep. Make sure your foot's in a good place. Make sure it's not going to fall off. We're going to go 40 seconds, 20 seconds each side. So option one, hips in line with shoulders. We go down as low as we can, stand back up. Second option, which is the one I'm gonna be doing, is standing, 
stepping back so that our heel is up, but still we're stacked, shoulders and hips. And from there, we drop into a lunge. Both options are great. Choose the one that works best for you. That second exercise, we covered the dips on the floor and our dips on our chair. Again, make sure the chair is against a wall or on something that's not gonna roll. We're gonna place our hands right by our hips, walk our feet out so that our butt is just off the bench. From there, we're gonna take that proud position, bending our elbows and pressing back up. We don't wanna have our elbows near our ears, so make sure you stay in that proud position. Are you guys ready? All right, let's go. Choose whatever works for you. Reverse lunges are first, 20 seconds each side. We've got three, two, one, and begin. Standing or on the bench, we're just gonna step that foot back and forth. Even if you're on the bench, you are stepping that foot back and forth. Good. We wanna use that base leg. Right now it's my right glute to really squeeze through the stand-up versus this back leg pushing off. We're not pushing off right now. Go ahead and switch sides, here we go. Feels so good. And if this is too fast, feel free to slow it down, break it apart. You guys look lovely. Woo. And to our dips. Choose your option on the chair or on the floor. Again, I'm staying on the floor. I feel these like crazy. Hands are facing the body. And begin. Keep that chest nice and proud. And exhale. Good. We want to make sure those elbows are staying in. So if you feel them coming out, no good, no good. Squeeze them. Beautiful. Keep this work up. You guys look awesome. Isn't it nice to work our bodies, show them how much we appreciate them? Whew. We have 10 seconds left. You feeling it? I am. Three, two, and one. Finish with a good one. Nice. All right, guys, we're going back to those halves and halves. Same thing we did in the first circuit. Half bicycle, half star crunch. Again, 40 seconds beginning now. Half, and exhale, half. And switch sides, I just got so excited. And half, beautiful. We wanna make sure that the shoulder's leading, not the elbow, because that elbow can move so far, but it doesn't actually give us that oblique rotation we're looking for. Nice, you've got 10 seconds. Again, you have that option. Do not come down in between. Last one, finish strong. Great job, guys. Back to the top, here we go. We've got two more rounds if we can. We're gonna see how it times out. And three, two, one, begin. Same thing as last time, unless you wanna try differently. Keep those hips stacked on top with the shoulders. Good work. We're dropping that knee straight down. And I know this is odd, but I have my reflection in my uh, TV here. I can see I'm stepping back, hip width apart. I'm not crossing over. And switch. Love this song. Nice. And if this music doesn't inspire you, put something on in the background. Nice, we're almost there guys. We've got 10. Yes, I did do this a little longer. We've got two more, make it work, let's go. And one. Beautiful, dips, your choice. Bench, floor. I'm gonna show you this view this time so you can see how those elbows stay in. And begin. Good, nice. It's not easy, let's be real. But as we're going through this exercise, we should be conscious of our body position. You can hurt yourself all the time with bad form. We wanna inhale down, exhale. We've got 10 seconds left, guys. Nice. 
I had see the distance between my ears. It never changes. And done. All right. For our core in this round, we're going back to the planks with the opposite arm leg lift. If it's not your favorite, that's okay. Do it more, and it'll eventually become something you don't dislike as much. We love the things we're really good at, so use that for a little bit of motivation there. All right, we are in our planks. Opposite arm leg, here we go. Nice, and put it down. Should be put down under control, lifted under control. Leg and arm, lifting at the same time. Good. Next one, we're gonna add the pulse. Here we go. Two, three, four. Make sure that belly button stays engaged to the spine. One, two, three, four, five. We have one more time each side. And here's that other clue. If I can't balance something on your back, so flat back, so if you're here, that's not balancing. We gotta keep it flat like a board. So here we go, lift. One, keep it there. Two, three, four, and five. Other side. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, guys. I have about four minutes left, so we're going to push through and get one more set in. Your choice again. We've got our lunges first. Are you ready? Oh, right on the minute. Here we go. Take it back. I switched my starting leg this time, so I... Get that same amount of work in. Good. We've got 20 seconds for real this time. I promise I won't mess it up. Good. Three, we've got one more here. Work it. Nice, switch legs. And lunge, nice. Hope you guys are getting there. Getting tired a little bit. We've got five seconds, keep it going. Hit that 90 degrees and we're done. We've got our dips next. Again, your choice, floor, um, bench. And here we go. I gotta give us a cool down period. So I wanna make sure we get there. Nice. Try and make sure that head's staying forward so you're not trying to look at me. Keep it forward and just listen. Good work today. We're gonna finish off strong. We've got those half bicycles, half star crunches. And we've got five, four, three. Oh, it feels so good. And one. Take that leg position, we are almost there. And we're gonna begin right away, half crunch. Half bicycle. If you want to get off the ground, you could certainly do that. And you'd end up making it half a V crunch. So lifting up off the ground. Choose your option. Whatever works for you. And sweating over here. Nice. We have five seconds. Push through. Maybe we can get one more on each side. Come on, you got it. Out of that comfort zone we go. And you are done. Woo, nice job guys. Take a second, pull those knees into the chest. Just give them a little hug and roll right to left. Beautiful. Nice work, happy Saturday, you guys did it. You can do whatever you want the rest of the day. I'm making circles now with my hips. Massaging for just a brief second. All right, up to all fours. We've got some cat and cow to do here. So we're gonna make sure our knees are underneath our hips, our wrists underneath our shoulders. Taking a deep inhale, we arch like a cow. So heads up, back down. And then we tuck our chin to our chest like a cat. We arch the back, reaching it towards the ceiling. Inhale into the cow. Beautiful. Exhale into the cat. Nice, find neutral right here. And we're gonna make our way up to a kneeling position. We're gonna take one step forward, so we're almost in half kneeling position. Placing the hands on whichever leg is forward, we're just gonna sink the hips forward. 
stretch that quad and hip flexor. Good. From the side, we do want to make sure we're not too far forward. We just want to give it a little push so that our shoulders and hips stay on top of each other still. Good. From there, we're going to sit the hips back, pull the forward foot back so we got this hamstring stretch. Both hips are going to sit back. Get those toes to the ceiling. Nice. Switch legs, same stretch. Front line goes forward. We shift our weight. Shoulders and hips still stacked. And I got about one minute left here, so we're going to finish up. Sit back, toe goes to the ceiling. And we sit the hips. Beautiful. I love this because we keep the head above the heart. That way our blood flow continues to stay in a safe place. Whereas if we drop our head too quickly, we still need that blood to get to the head. So, and stay with the heart too. Good. Go ahead and work your way up to a standing position. We're gonna take our hands, interlock them behind the back. Pull down and then away. As we do that, our head's gonna stay in neutral. Belly button is gonna stay tucked. We don't wanna see the hips pop out. Good. We're gonna take our right shoulder over. Make sure it stays away from our ears. If we get up here, it's not really so much a shoulder stretch anymore. Good, switch sides. Oh, I feel that right in the back. Get it right behind that shoulder blade area. That's what we're aiming for. All right, we're gonna take our hands by our side, feel our feet beneath us, nice hip width apart. Inhale those arms up, reach slightly behind us, exhale those arms down. We're gonna do that one more time. Allow yourself to inhale, reach, lean back slightly, and come on down. Thank you so much for joining me today. It was a pleasure. I look forward to seeing you guys next week for uh, a little bit more than what we did today. Have a great week and keep killing it.